Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anastasia. I'm your go-to holistic health and fitness expert. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, highly recommend to do it right now. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated with every single video I upload and create for you to become a better version of yourself, to become healthiest version of yourself and the sexiest version of yourself. In today's video, I want to share with you 10 benefits of waking up early. I know some of you, or maybe exactly you, you don't like to wake up early, you hate your alarm, you, don't, you hate the world entirely in the morning when you need to wake up, but there is a tons of benefits to wake up early. And specifically, not only early like 5 a.m. club by Sharma or at 6 o'clock or maybe 4 o'clock. There is a lot of women and men out there I see on Instagram. They have a new challenge like wake up crazy like at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. And they have like their rituals before, especially people who, couples who have kids, they wake up such an early time. So they have time for themselves and then they have time for the family, for kids, and etc. So, but today I want to speak particularly about benefits of waking up together with the sun, with sunrise. You know that throughout the year, the sunrise is, depends on the season, depends on the country you live. It's changed slightly, sometimes one hour, sometimes half an hour, sometimes two hours, depends where you are in the world. But this is the best be actually practice to wake up and build, actually set up your biological alarm with the sun because we are so connected, believe me. So for example, in a summer, when sun wake up 6, 5.30, 5.20, it's great. If in autumn time, sun, even if there is literally no sun outside, but still there is a sunrise by 6 o'clock, uh, 7 o'clock sometimes, still would recommend for you to wake up early. 6 o'clock would be better. So let's start with the benefits. Number one is uh, vitamin D. You know, for many people, it does not matter where we live. Even for some people who live in um, Persian countries, even for some people who live in Europe, there is deficiency of vitamin D. And you will think like, wow, these people live basically in the middle of summer whole year long, but still they have deficiency of vitamin D because person does not been exposed to the summer because of their modern lifestyle. We are keep working on the laptops, we are keep driving inside the car, we are keep living inside the apartments, inside the office, and we do not we does not been exposed to the sun. So we don't get any vitamin D and getting vitamin D from the pills does not mean it's the best practice. So vitamin D, when you wake up with the sunrise and you've been exposed, so I will un uh, unleash in this one item three benefits and I will repeat them again. So you wake up in the morning, especially when it's warmer season of the year, you can moderate and combine with the sunrise, you can have your morning practice, your self-care practice, such a meditation, such a yoga, such a journaling, being outdoor. Even if you live in an apartment, find the space how you can manage, manage to be outdoor. You can be on the roof floor. You can be downstairs, maybe there's nearby some park. If you live in a village, great. Always have some special corner for you in the garden, for you, for your own space as a self-care space where you can come in the morning and do your exercise, do your meditation, do your yoga, where you can have right exposure to the sun and get this vitamin D. Number two is the uh, mood. Your mood depends a lot on vitamin D and the sunlight. We've been like a flower absolutely same we need this sunlight in our lives that's why there's many people they turn to depression over the winter autumn season especially in the countries where there is like really autumn and winter not just the name in the calendar so when you wake up early in the morning and when you have even like blur sunlights it's still beneficial for your mood it triggers those serotonin to promote more in your body so hence you have more positivity in your life you have more the positivity in your current day because you wake up today morning 
early, you have a sunlight, you have a trigger of serotonin and hence you like, actually it's a great addiction, you like this feeling, you like how you feel in your day and you keep repeating. So it's become your daily habit, it's become your daily routine and it's become your lifestyle. So number three, we have also reducing stress. Again, we live in an era of stress, anxiety, depression, supplements, antidepressants, stress reduction due to sunlight. When you wake up with the sunrise, you do your uh, WC rituals and you get out to get this at least 10 minutes of sunlight to observe how sun rising up above us. You will also get vitamin D again and serotonin that help you with your mood. When you have time for yourself, especially very important, keep at the side your phone this at least one hour, half an hour. Maybe you used to wake up at eight and now suddenly you wake up at six. So give yourself at least 40 minutes just for yourself without the gadgets, without laptop, without your Apple Watch, without uh, iPhone anything just keep it for yourself for your solitude if your partner is still like to sleep more if your kids obviously they would like to sleep more right you have this time just for yourself so you can have this time to feel yourself to listen up what's happening inside you because we live in such a rush we don't understand what we really want so your mood will enhance because you give yourself this practice of dedicating time for yourself there is no one around everything is asleep Nature is asleep, nature just start to waking up and you observe it, which is so beneficial for your mood. Believe me, you try once and you will see it. And when you practice again, some practice like yoga, meditation, journaling, self-reflection, and uh, also breeze technique, pranayama. So you're getting into the balanced state, affirmations as well. So you set up, you know, like a Windows, you set up your program of your system of your body for a day in such a harmony and balance. So anything that comes from outward, from your work, from office, from project, from client, from parents, from family, cousin, I don't know, anyone, you have already resistance. No, sorry, not resistance. You have already a pillar that will protect you because you have yourself in a harmony your breath is long you are unshakable because when we are in stress when we are so weak when we have insomnia da, 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 it's so easy to get triggered to get upset to get into drama to fight so this is very very beneficial let's go further there is also great benefit of i think it's number five one two three no it's number four. Number four is circadian rhythm. What means circadian rhythm? It's your biological rhythm between dark and light when you awake and when you asleep. So normally by the book they say eight hours you sleep, 16 hours you awake. So it's your cardian circadian rhythm. So when you wake up with the sunrise, your circadian rhythm become aligned with the nature, aligned with the sun. I mean, obviously, you do not need to go with the sunset to the bed because sometimes it's quite early, especially in the winter. But when you wake up, it's so beneficial for your system. And you would also, number five, let's jump, you will improve your sleep. You will have adequate sleep. You will get rid and forget about insomnia. Again, we live in an era of insomnia where people have antidepressants, supplements, and they have a pills, injections, a syrup, chamomile tea, with something else for falling asleep. When you wake up early, when you've been productive at work with your family, play with your kids, do exercise, by the 10 or 11 p.m. naturally you will feel tired. You will feel this physical satisfaction and tiredness to fall asleep. Until the moment you touch the pillow, you will fall asleep. You do not need to deal with any insomnia. So wake up early and forget about insomnia. Number six is productivity. And it's not kind of productivity like a freaky productivity when you write like A4 or A3 list of things to do in a day. It's a natural productivity from you because you wake up early, you observe this natural calmness, you have this solitude time 
and you have a clear focus from a harmony and from a place of balance that you want to create something in your day. I want to create this. Oh, actually, I have this idea. Actually, I put on hold this for quite a time. Let me finish this. Oh, I want to meet this lady and I want to make this project. Da, 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 da. You become more creative. You become more productive naturally without pressure, without timeline, without someone reminds you because you wake up early before the world you plan things ahead again even with your journaling you can also do your plan for a day and one more tip here inside this tip i will recommend for you to make the plan for a day in such a small sticker if there is anything more than such a sticker but obviously do not write like really small letters okay i'm not cheating here if you write more it's exhaustion and it does not mean like you know fly to japan make one billion dollars, some big deals in one day to do it. Even some small thing you want to do, write them down. Exercise, meditation, write them. So you declare in your writing and you are more committed to yourself to implement it. So you build up integrity. And then we go number six is fresh air and exercise especially if you live in a city sometimes you think that there is never fresh air but when you wake up at least so early five six o'clock there's no not so many cars outside there is no tracks outside in some places maybe there is still for example in some countries where i've been the tracks would drive particularly at night so when you wake up in the early morning there is still not such a fresh air but still there is naturally the nature was the soil was breathing overnight so you can expose this fresher air and hence you have more motivation to work out again you do not need to wake up with a, a kind of like you know draining energy that i must i should i need to work out i feel sleepy and then you talk yourself out that you do do not want to do this you need to understand that you do this for yourself for what are you and you build this habit with the joy so you wake up you observe nature you observe you observe sunrise you you make yourself some celery juice warm water chamomile tea uh, flax seeds anything what you like coffee matcha and you write journaling, you do exercise, you meditate, you breathe, you put some meditation music, you, you talk yourself into the day. And even if you haven't ever, ever tried such a practice, which I just listed, try. They work. They do some magic. So you need to try it and you will see the benefits on your system. Uh, then we go with number eight, healthy eating. When you wake up early, you give yourself this time for self-care. Basically, we will put this meditation, practice, workout, you exercise, maybe you jog, maybe you walk, maybe you have a dog and you uh, dog walk or you have just skipping rope. Everything is great. All the practice is great. And then you feel hungry because as by the holistic school of nutrition that I follow by Paul Bragg, he said that you need to work to get your breakfast. So basically you do something, you know, you write down journaling, you have skip it 500 times, you do some ups, push-ups, workout, yoga, a couple of asanas, meditation. So you work, you get satisfaction, you give your body stretch, you awake even each cell of your body, and then you kind of get paid with the breakfast so you are more motivated to prepare something really nice healthy you have more time to put into it you have more care and love to put into it and even so you will be more loving and caring to put breakfast nicely for yourself and for your family with whom you live with your kids with your husband with your partner uh, with family members you would have the space to give and nurture others not only yourself Number nine, again, it's a self-care. So all of this journaling, yoga, meditation, breath technique, even self-development, even if you're watching some uh, YouTube videos, if you're reading some books that you were skipping, postponing because you don't have time, it's also self-care. You find this time of um, so, uh, so, uh, for solo time for yourself to do something that you want. And it's very, very important to not neglect this. So you have time. And number 10, it's a nature connection. So basically you wake up and you observe. 
how sunrise is rising up, how colors of the sky change, how wind or it's not windy, maybe it's little rain, uh, how leaves are moving, especially if you do some jogging, walking, so you have time, you have space because it's not noisy, there is not so many people, it's not crowded, and you have time to observe all of this, enjoy and get connected more to the nature. So this is beautiful 10 benefits of waking up early, of waking up with the sunrise, I recommend you highly to try it out for a week at least. Try it for a week, then I'm sure you want to try it more for a two, for three, and then it's become your second nature and you will benefit in the long run big time. If you have any questions of how to turn your life around, to live holistic way of living, to heal yourself from a disease or get out of a risk to the certain disease because due to the family history or your current lifestyle or your past lifestyle, feel free to link to, to click on the link down below. I have all social media linked there, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, email, where you are comfortable. You have a chance to send me an inquiry and book free consultation call with me where we will meet with you over Zoom, discuss where you are right now, what is your struggle, and I will help you with the guidance how to heal, how to turn around your lifestyle, and how to be those best version of yourself that your body, your system have potential for, to live long, to live fully, and to be alive and useful, of course. And this is it for this video. If you like, put a thumbs up, share with your friends, family, partner, uh, your kids, let them know how to improve life better just with a, such a simple thing like waking up with the sunrise. Let's grow together as a sunrise community. Uh, if you're interested in particular subject which I haven't discussed yet, or maybe I haven't discussed fully, you want to know more, Put comments down below. I always seeking for a, a different subjects on which to share with you on my channel. And this is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.